And the impact it made was immediate. I went from, let's say, 10 hours a week of engaging with salespeople to two hours a month. They were going to go and find the best people. They were going to go and find the best solutions. All I had to do was listen. My name is Robin Smith. I'm currently Chief Information Security Officer of Great British Energy Nuclear, which is a government-owned nuclear agency in the UK, newly established in the in the last couple of years. And I was formerly CISO at Aston Martin, the luxury automotive brand. In the role of CISO, I'm board advisor on all aspects of information and cybersecurity risk. And the focus is on building security standards and services that can really protect the business ensure that the brand is fully immune from disruption, but also builds resilience across technology processes and workflows to ensure that we have cyber resilience across the operations. Going a little bit deeper, can you tell us what's most pressing for you, the projects that you work on and how you decide on those projects? Hyper automation is really top of my list for priorities this year. And I really want to get to a point where I have confidence about how automation makes the tools flow and interoperate better rather than worrying about job losses or the other AI catastrophism that goes around. You still need really good quality CISOs, engineers, risk analysts, people to train and build skills. There's a formula of AI plus brain equals the future. And I think I can go with that. If we can really build digital literacy, that'll 10x the, the value from AI projects. One of the things we're trying to work out is predicated on continuous threat exposure management. If there is a nearly infinite supply of cybercrime, and it sometimes feels like that on a Monday morning, we'll be able to really focus our priorities on being intelligence-led, using our resources well, and tackling what's most urgent to a business. The way that we've tapped into that is staying abreast of what's going on in the industry, and then that drives our intelligence-led cyber strategy. And it's making big impacts. It's giving us new opportunities for innovation. It's reducing the risk from cyber criminality. We're moving into a, a model where we can forecast or anticipate what's coming around the corner. And that's a really good position for a CISO to be in. All right. The before times. Can you tell us how you used to identify the right vendors to evaluate? It feels like the stone ages now that I've been working with Sage up for a few years, just before the pandemic. We were doing market testing whereby we would invite in 10 vendors to do the sales pitch. So it would take a lot of time would waste a lot of your resources and not always get to a decision point because, you know, a sales pitch is not reality. A sales pitch is what it can do, not what it will do. When we would then implement solutions, there would be a bit of a gap. And that all arose from a very poor filtering and prioritization process. It was a painful process, really fractured, and I was very glad to find solutions to these problems.